bonus module, module 6D on golden hour and incident management, creating an incident response plan. First rule, in all honesty, from our experience, people are overcomplicating their plans. Keep it simple. They really look good, spend a lot of time, organizations, flowcharts, 50 to 100, 200 pages, depending on your organization's size, unfit for purpose. They are not fit for purpose. Easy to read. They, may, they need to be easy to read. They need to be easy to understand. Let's go straight into an exercise. This session, we are going to review a mind map. We are going to plan for an attack, plan to be ready, to check if your organization is ready. So on your own, it's really more fun in a group. If you don't know what mind mapping is, it's fine. It's an outline. Create an outline structure, categories, and then subcategories and then carry on. If you like mind maps, start creating a mind map on your incident readiness. Imagine someone is going to attack you. What do you need to think of when you're planning and doing an outline of your incident breach readiness? I'll give you a bit of a hint. Remember to pause your screen. Take your time, do the mind map outline, and then come back and let's review our output. Okay, before you pause your screen, take a look at this high level mind map. It gives you some idea. You're building your cyber incident planning and response outline. Think about threat intel. Think about legal and regulatory tools and technology. You get the picture. Okay, team, your security, operations, your risk management. Remember, pause your screen and then come back and let's review the final output. Welcome back. Hopefully you have got a detailed outline, a mind map. I'm going to show you what we have. This mind map is also available as a high resolution download. Let's start with the tools and technology. We've got a whole list of tools and technology. I'm not going to read each one of them out. But the point is, start analyzing and identifying which tools, systems you have. Remember the technology stack session. This is one way to identify and then go and start reviewing your technology stack. Let's focus on threat intelligence. Threat intelligence, very, very important. We've got commercial, social, We've talked about this in the Threat Intelligence module, open source intel, additional monitoring. Are you looking at Pastebin, forums, OSINT? We have a separate video that goes through all of these websites and these products and services. Are you sharing? Are you collaborating within your own sector? Have you done any threat hunting? Do you have threat hunting capabilities? When you are doing security assessments, make sure they are contextual. Okay, threat actors. We've talked about threat actors in module two. Do you have a threat actor library? Do you know your threat actors? Do you know how they think, how they work, what processes they use? Do you understand their motivation? Building a team. Have you built your team? Have you identified the best people? Have you looked at the job descriptions, the requirements? Have you thought about the skill matrix to identify who can help you when? Do you need to give them training? Do you need skill augmentation? It's not just pure outsourcing, but actually upskilling and augmenting your existing skills in your business. Do you have a security operations center, a security monitoring center that does monitoring, detection, and response? Do you have playbooks? Are the staff skilled? Do you need to outsource? Do you need to augment? Is the technology working? Remember technology stack. Risk management. 
linked with threat actors, consistent taxonomy. Have you thought about insurance? Do you know who, what your assets are? Your crown jewels? Governance, change control. Can your IT folks, your security folks, make an urgent change if the situation demands it? Do you have a formal management system, information security, ISMS, detection velocity, how quickly can you detect, service management? Have you done an assessment of your breach readiness, not just a general control assessment? Are you able to measure detection and response? Going back to response, we focused on triage, a significant amount of it, the golden hour. Do you have the technology to detect, contain, recover? PR, communications, templates, are you cyber ready? Do your PR teams need the training? Confidential communication channel, very critical. Incident response playbooks, have you hosted workshops? Do you need to run them? Make sure you host third parties, the BCP team, the technical and management. Do you understand participants have muscle memory so that they can participate in incident response workshops? Have you thought about automating res response playbooks? And we talk about scenario building in a separate module, but quickly the threats, the threat actors, what kind of impact, test and validate. Very important, you need to test your processes. You can look at CBEST, the Bank of England framework, or STAR. Legal and regulatory, you got the GDPR that you need to look at. The privacy notification, breach notification obligations. Do you have something where you can take down legal statements if your data turns up on the internet, like Pastebin? Can you take it down quickly? Confidentiality clauses with third parties. Third parties are your biggest supply chain, is your biggest risk. They may not have the technology, but they need to be contractually obliged to support you during an incident. Is that in your contract? Do they know they have to support you? Do they have the people? Do they have the training? Do they have the same approach that we are discussing in CIPR? That was a quick rundown of a detailed mind map. There's much more to it. You know, you create a mind map, an outline, you can keep going, but it should give you enough guidance, enough material to work on and build on. This also shows that planning is not an easy task. There's a lot of planning to do, but the output needs to be simple, easy to understand, easy to refer to. Key lesson on this particular topic of planning, try to get as many good, and relevant stakeholders involved with the aim to producing tangible outputs, scenarios, action plans, and keep the workshops short and focused. We have additional modules on scenario planning. You can also download the mind map in high resolution from our website. That's the bonus module on cyber incident response planning. Module 6D. Thank you.